Tuesday, all you beautiful people out there. I have been MIA for far too long, so I thought it was time to get back into it. There are two Tom McDonald songs that I have not reviewed for you. I figured it was time. Tom McDonald, brainwashed. I think we know where this is going. We know a lot of people who are. The country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only masks that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't. No masks. That won't work for that kind of uh, pandemic. You're right, duct tape. That's a good one. Um, and he's right, you know. the What are we at, almost two years now? And uh, we're just doing the same shit over and over again. I can't talk too much about it because it's going to be seen as medical advice, but, um, you know, certain things are being hidden. We don't think it's probably for the good of the people. Yeah, I said it. Take celebrity gossip, popular neat quotes, black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole pride month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost and big oil runs the world. That is the truth because there is no money in healthy people. And if you're cured, then you are not a lifetime patient. Need to defund police, need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him. Okay, I don't want to be stopping this the whole way through. This is annoying, um, I think, to some people, but uh, <clears throat> we can look back 20 years ago to 9-11 and um, the search for the weapons of mass destruction in areas that just happen to have a lot of oil. Um, and that's why we've been there for 20 years. Um, this is where wars are fought, where money can be made. And... Uh, all one needs to do is research the Cheneys and the Bushes and see how much money they stood to make in oil. Uh, yeah, you guys probably know that already. Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Can't Let's win. just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. Oh, Tom, you are so right. Because if the conservatives and the liberals got along and they finally saw the writing on the wall, then they would not have power anymore. Will this ever happen? I don't know if it will happen in my lifetime. What's the answer? <laughs> drain the swamp? I don't know if anybody's actually going to be able to drain the swamp. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die, the whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want was best. Oh, so he knows about fluoride. Um, for those of you who don't, it's toxic waste. 
Naturally occurring fluoride in spring water is completely different. Uh, the fluoride that they use is a, uh, it's a way for them to get rid of the toxic waste and use it as um, something to, de to calcify your pineal gland. You can go down that little rabbit hole if you'd like to. Um, I will not give medical advice, but as for my family, uh, we don't drink tap water and we don't use fluoride toothpaste. And my children have no cavities or fillings. I still, at the age of 46, have no fillings in my mouth and no cavities. Fluoride is not good for you and I will refuse to use it. Um, and the proof is in the pudding for me. My family doesn't use it and our teeth are perfect. And this was your public service announcement. Thank you. Us against them and ain't you against me How did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18 Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device And I don't know what I'm all sick of Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate a hundred Xanax for dinner Cause censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter Is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign ballistic missiles You don't trust the police or the government But you want people giving up their right to own a firearm Why would you be comfortable if police and the government The only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun White privilege get yeah, so, um, you know, the really important people, you guys, this is an important point that I'm going to make. There are people that are more important than we are. Um, they're, um, you know, rich, famous, important people. They need to be protected. They need to have their secret service. They need to have their bodyguards. You know, if I'm a celebrity, if I'm Kim Kardashian, if I'm Alyssa Milano, I need to have... Um, my team with me at all times armed to the teeth um, but at the same time we should defund police and uh, also you know law-abiding citizens should not have the right to protect their families uh, or go hunting you know uh, provide for their families with their own food because it's just too dangerous you know I mean statistics don't lie right Okay, you guys probably realize I'm being super sarcastic. Police are the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're... Okay, I just had to say, as a Canadian, I know right off the bat that Tom's Canadian because he says against and not against. And I just chuckle because I never noticed that before when I lived in Canada. And then when I moved to the States, I noticed the different little intonations and the different ways that words were said, like... In Canada, they say decal, and in the States, we say decal. Anyway, just funny. After 15 years, I can actually notice differences um, that I used to say. Racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets The whole world's brainwashed It's us against them, it ain't you against me Step one Train the people only to consume Step two Infiltrate adults with the news Step three Indoctrinate the children through the schools And the music and the apps On the phones that they use Step four Separate the right from the left Step five Separate the white from the black Step six Separate the rich from the poor Use religion and equality to separate them more Step seven Fabricate a problem made a lie Step eight Put it on the news every night Step nine When people start to fight and divide Take control This is called situational design they can't stop us. Yeah, wow. Um, I'm not going to be able to remember all that, but um, 
I know I've read something and it's, I think it's literally in like the Marxist playbook or something, uh, that that's what you do. It's, um, it's designed to keep people fighting against each other and, uh, to keep them in constant fear and to, um, keep the misinformation going starting at a super young age. Um, the stuff that's being taught in schools now, um, I can't even believe that it's real life, but uh, it starts at an early age now through the educational system, um, which now is not about you know reading, writing, arithmetic. It's about uh, political opinions of the teachers, but yes, that's why public uh, public schools are a no for us. Um, private school and and homeschool uh, is the only way you're going to get your children to. Um, not be brainwashed by that stuff but uh, yeah you you keep the people fighting against each other and they're so um, into this frenzy of uh, battling against you know the right and the left black and white that they don't notice what's going on up here and and so if you keep them preoccupied with this stuff, they're going to get away with whatever they want to get away with. And, um, you know, like, what's going on right now? I mean, there's there's so much happening that I think that if, if, if there's people that literally think that the government would never do anything nefarious. Um, they either have not read anything about history and the history of this type of thing, or um, I don't know, are you intentionally, willfully ignorant? Or do you just choose to not believe it? Because um, there's atrocities against um, people all over the world. And it's not always done by people and by your, by your peers, it's usually done by the elite, the people who hold the power. So if we're all brainwashed into believing whatever fear porn is, you know, uh, in the news now, we're not going to be seeing the rights that are getting stripped away and the uh, education our children are receiving. Um, and I think that... Uh, it's really hard for me to find a balance between being informed and uh, shutting off my TV. Because if you just shut your TV off and didn't listen to it, I think we'd all be a lot happier and a lot better off. Um, so sometimes maybe ignorance is bliss. Other times, like now, <laughs> I don't know what the answer is. It's it's hard to it's hard to find that balance. But anyway, I'm babbling again. Cause we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. good one. Wow, guys. I mean, I, I tend to um, speak <laughs> long-windedly on stuff like this because I, uh, I have trouble. I'm, I'm a research junkie. And um, so sometimes I get in my own head too much, um, especially with everything that's going on now. And, uh, you know, you, you have, you're crammed with so much information that it can become too overwhelming. So sometimes I'm just like, just take a break, get on your bike, go for a bike ride, go for a hike, go swimming, go for a run, do some laundry, wash your kitchen floor, whatever it is. Um, because, uh, you know, information is so readily, easily available. It's all literally at our fingertips. And um, yeah, remember when we used to have to go to the library to do research? 
maybe those were better times. I don't know. It's a tough balance. Anyway, guys, um, I really enjoyed that. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. Mm -hmm.